Hi, Chef Matt here. Today, I'm gonna to teach you how to make great grilled broccoli. So we're gonna start by cutting the head of broccoli into some manageable pieces. So we're gonna start with a knife, very sharp knife, and cut directly in the center, but I don't wanna cut all the way through because what that what will happen is you'll break a lot of these little delicate pieces on the top of the broccoli. So we're gonna just cut about halfway and then let the knife do the work in physics and just kind of pull that apart, okay? If you get a little piece, that's, that's great for dipping in some hummus later. So then, again, I'm gonna start by slicing down, just pulling apart. This one actually looks like maybe we'll cut in six. Okay, we've got three nice pieces there. And then, you can kind of see where the natural break would be. So you don't want to make them too small. So as you can see, we have, we have some little pieces, but we would have so many more if we cut all the way through that broccoli. So I have about a gallon of water here, and I'm gonna add a quarter cup of kosher salt. Now again, that seems like a lot of salt, but again, the Salt does not stay on the broccoli. It will season the broccoli. It will make the temperature of the boiling point of the water a little bit higher. And that's actually what creates that beautiful green color and allows us to cook the broccoli a little bit faster, retaining the color and all the nutrients. Now that we have a rolling boil, I'm gonna to start to add the broccoli. I wanna add my larger pieces first. And I want you to notice Literally, as soon as the broccoli touches that salted boiling water, see the color change? These are all relatively the same size, so I'm gonna put them all in together. So I, I wouldn't wanna put any more broccoli than what fits in a single layer, as you can see here. One of the other things you want to do whenever blanching green vegetables is to make sure that you bring them to room temperature. In case you have a head of broccoli that is in the refrigerator, you want to make sure that you bring it to room temperature before adding it to the boiling water or else it'll take way too long to come back to boil. The other thing we don't want to do when blanching broccoli, getting ready for our grilled broccoli, is to cover it. There are certain gases that release from green vegetables that also help to keep it nice and green. So we wanna make sure we leave a cover off. So as it comes back to boil, you wanna make sure you turn it down just slightly because if it's boiling too rapidly, it'll start to destroy these nice little tender pieces on top here. So what I'm looking for to see if it's done is just if it's got a little bit of bend to it, and that's right around when it's done. Remember, we only want to cook this about a half to two-thirds of the way because the rest of the cooking will be done on the grill. So as you can see, I'm kind of shaking it upside down to get all that water out. And I don't want to shock this in water because I want to keep that salt on the broccoli without washing it off. So I could let this sit at room temperature or I could just place this kind of single layer inside the refrigerator, which is what I'm gonna do now. Now that our broccoli has been blanched and chilled in the refrigerator, we're gonna start on the garlic butter and then outside to the grill. So I've already prepared the garlic butter, but very simply, this is unsalted butter a couple of cloves of fresh garlic that have been minced and pasted very finely, a little bit of salt and black pepper, and then the herbs in here, it's really whatever you have in your house or whatever you like. So for me, I like to add chive, basil, parsley, and a little bit of tarragon. You start with softened butter, add the garlic, whip, and then just fold in your herbs, very simply. So this can stay in the refrigerator for a couple of weeks, or even in the freezer. Next, what I'm going to do is take a piece of the broccoli and very liberally, you can see how soft this is. I like to use my hands, because I, I like the feel of how it's going into the broccoli, but I really like to get up underneath the florets of the broccoli. 
And then due to the smooth surface here, you don't get a lot to stay on there, but just a little bit to make sure, you know, don't, don't leave that lonely down below. Now, it, again, it looks like I'm putting a lot on, but it's just enough to cover because a lot of this is going to come off on the grill. One of the reasons why everyone says that they love to eat their grandmother's cooking or they remember their grandmother's cooking is because I know for my grandmother, she cooked with so much love. She always wanted to make sure that we had great food to eat and had people over at the house. And I can't think of a better way how to put love into food other than using your hands. So it's okay, butter comes off, take a paper towel, give it a wipe and then wash your hands. It all comes off, but I cook with my hands as much as possible. I've been making a lot of bread lately, a lot of sourdough bread and bagels, things I haven't done for a long time. Just love to work with my hands. Lastly, I have a lemon here that I've cut in half, and what I'm going to do is just add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil and a little pinch of kosher salt. And I like to grill these along with the broccoli. They make a great garnish to squeeze over the broccoli when it's finished, and I think they just look beautiful too. So for grilling the broccoli outside, you can either use like a, a Weber gas grill or one of these Komodos or green eggs. Uh, I love these because you get that great wood flavor, but in order to get the same flavor on a grill, what I typically will do, I get the grill nice and hot, but I just put a couple pieces of wood on the back and I let that sit for about five to seven minutes before I start grilling. So I'm gonna start with my olive oiled lemons. And then I'm gonna go place kind of that flat side down first. See, we have our own little fire here, it's beautiful. And then close the lid. So I'm gonna let that go for about a minute and a half and then just check it. So the thing you do have to be careful about is the butter, as the butter melts, it, it can produce a little bit of flame. A little bit of char is okay, too much fire, not good. This is exactly what we want. We want really nice heat. As you can see, the butter is starting to melt, but we're not getting any flame here, which is perfect. Basically, what we want to do is just put some char in there. We're going to cook that garlic that's inside the butter. Those herbs are going to start to become very aromatic, and then we'll turn it over. So the broccoli's already cooked. It's already seasoned, so we don't have to add any more salt. If you use the correct amount of salt in the water, which really gets into the broccoli instead of on the broccoli, we're gonna have some great grilled broccoli. We'll just give it a we'll give it a quarter turn, almost like we're making steaks. The beauty of this broccoli is it literally does taste like steak. Start to get a little bit of color on these lemons. It's perfect. Again, we don't want crazy black marks on these. We just want to get some nice color. We'll, we'll get a little bit of the aromatic of the oil of the lemon start to come out. So now we're gonna turn our broccoli over. We should have some nice char on here. Beautiful. Some nice color. Gonna put our lemons up top. So also, know where your hot spots are on the grill. As you can see, I've got a hot spot over here. So I'm gonna put the broccoli from my left side, which is a little cooler, and then the ones, you can see it's a little bit more char, but again, that char is just great, great flavor. So we just wanna make sure that, again, that broccoli has a little bit of char on both sides and is heated all the way through and it'll be perfect. About five minutes, five to six minutes total of cooking is all it takes. So if you're doing this in conjunction with some steaks, typically what I'll do, or fish, what I'll do is I'll cook my steaks, I'll put them inside and let them rest, turn the grill all the way up, finish my broccoli, or you can even do this with asparagus. Um, 
but I'll let the, let the proteins rest and then finish the vegetables, come inside, the meat will be perfect, the veg is nice and hot, and you've got a great meal. So at this point, we're just about finished. I'm gonna turn the grill off. And then plate up my broccoli. Oh, look at that, beautiful. You see that nice little bit of smoke that comes off of the wood? And because the broccoli has a little bit of moisture to it, as the smoke rolls around in the grill, it just gives it enough smoke without it being too overwhelming. So you can see we've got just a little bit nice char there. When people come to my house, they always say there's never a, too much broccoli. I, I literally will make 20 pounds of this broccoli for Thanksgiving and it's always gone. So look at that beautiful grilled wood roasted broccoli. I hoped everyone learned a little something about taking something very ordinary like broccoli and making it truly extraordinary on the grill. Take care.